Hey everyone, in today's video we're going to be working with this new case that I just picked up. It is the Vault V800 by Pelican. It is a double rifle case that they make, but I'm actually going to be using it for a bow. I'm making this video because I know when I was looking things up and you know ways to cut out the foam, different things, um, there were a few videos, but in terms of using it for archery versus the rifles, it was very limited, so I figured I'd make a video. Um, the setup for I'm going to cut the foam, everything like that, and hopefully you guys enjoy it. Um, if you do, like the video and please consider subscribing. Thanks. Once you have everything in place where you're going to want to put it in the case, the first thing will be, of course, to take everything out of here, and then you'll want to pull the foam out, flip it over, and then place everything in kind of a mirror image of how you want to have it. That way when you make your marks on the back of the foam, you can make your cuts and if there are any marks still showing, you won't be able to see them because of course they'll be on the back side of the foam. Here I have my one layer of foam pulled out. What I'm going to do is I already flipped everything. Uh, so that way, like I said, it's going to be a mirror image for when I put it back in the case and all my marks will be on the back side of the foam. Alright, so here we have everything and we're going to start making our marks. Just going to use a sharpie here. Just go ahead and trace right on your outside edge. And as you can see, that you're going to be able to see that mark that you make with your Sharpie. So we'll go ahead and get everything outlined here. You can see that we have our lines drawn. Uh, we have our bow. We have our quiver with arrows, stabilizer, uh, case for broadheads, range finder, as well as a release. Next thing we'll do is we'll get our knife and start making our cuts. Uh, one thing we'll want to do is we'll want to cut a little bit inside of those lines and that's why we do it on the back side just in case there are any lines left over but by cutting a little bit inside it will keep things snug and when you go to put things in and test fit if you need to trim some more off you can always take some off a little bit easier than if you go the opposite way it's a lot more difficult to put foam back in all right now to cut your foam you'll see some guys talk about you know in different videos online about using an electric carving knife or something along those lines. Uh, what I've seen and what I'm going to give a try here is uh, since I don't have an electric carving knife myself is I've seen guys talk about using the outdoor edge or the Havilon knives with the replacement blades. As long as you have that nice sharp blade they say it cuts real smooth so we're going to give it a try and see how we do. One thing also to keep in mind uh, is to have yourself some sort of cutting board or something to put underneath uh, I have the box from the case, so I'm just going to use some of that cardboard as my cutting board here. As you can see, we have our cut mostly through. Um, it looks like it did okay for the most part on our sides here. It's just a little bit up here at these tight edges where it seems to be a little tough. So I'll just carefully come in from the back side here and complete those cuts. Okay, that looks good. And yep, there we go. All right, so yeah, you can see it did get a little bit here on the back side. Those are just some pieces there. I can clean that up. And then that one there, and then here we do have a little bit, but that's simple enough to just take and we can shave that off right there. So, all in all, 
not too bad. I do have a little bit. I'll clean up right there again a little bit. But just to give it some reference here, this was for the broadhead case. So this would just go ahead and just slide down there in there anyway. Here it is, the finished product. Have everything cut out. Again, I used an outdoor edge, just a regular skinning knife with the replaceable blades. Cut through the foam great. Uh, didn't have to use the electric uh, carving knife like some guys mentioned in our videos. But uh, as you can see, it fits. This is again a Matthews Triax. I uh, went down two layers into the foam to be able to get everything to fit uh, with the sight and everything that I have on there. That's an HH8 uh, Tetra. And then everything with the quiver, arrows, and stabilizer set up along with some other accessories. All cut into the foam and all ready to go. One thing too, if you watch this video, hopefully it does help you. Hopefully it gives you some ideas, you know, being able to use this double rifle case uh, for archery as well. Uh, the nice thing is you can get replaceable foam for these, so if you ever change it up or, you know, get something new, you can always do that. Uh, if there's anything that I didn't cover or any questions you guys might have, uh, drop the questions down in the comments. I'd be happy to answer them. So, thanks for watching, and I hope you enjoyed it.